everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a quick and easy Samba file sharing server between your you know, Windows machines and your Linux boxes. So uh, this is actually on my server, I'm remoted into it. Uh, just a side note, XRDP is what I'm using for this remote desktop connection. It's pretty nice, but uh, that's another video I guess. So I'll just kind of walk you through getting started and uh, show you the processes that you need to go through to get up and running. First thing is you want a public folder. So, you know, the default public here, I just went and did a chmod 777 to that fo uh, folder, and that's how we get the green there. Oh, okay, so read write, it's all open. Uh, also, be aware what I'm doing is pretty basic, pretty lean. There's, you know, a ton of different options that you can use, but I'm just kind of, I just want to you know transfer like some virtual machine images from one to the other nothing too uh, too spectacular so next thing we need to do is install Samba so become root alright and we'll just go yum install Samba and I think it uh, I think it already has it installed on here I have an a Samba directory in Etsy so okay so we'll uh, we'll let this go see how much there is to do All right, shouldn't take that long but the point is uh, like I said this is gonna be a pretty simple pretty basic configuration so when we're doing this I'll just kinda show you what we're gonna do first thing installing Samba we're doing that right now next thing changing the configuration file okay then se linux we're gonna change that then give it a user password for samba do the firewall rules and then test it out so next thing we need to do is go into let's see samba and you see smb.conf so we're gonna go open that up and we're just going to go here, let's see, homes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I don't want my whole home directory on there, so I'm just going to comment these things out. All right, and uh, oh, get rid of all that stuff. Otherwise, what will happen is I'll have my restricted folder show up, but I'll also have my admin folder show up, so you don't really want that. So let's see, okay. So I'm just going to do a new one. I mean, what you can do is you can also just create, like, kind of right off of these here. I mean, I'm doing pretty pretty close to this uh, public one, but just a little, little different. So uh, mine is just going to be called restricted admin, and we're going to say path equals home admin public. And you know, public is already included in your admin directory, so not really creating anything new here. But read only, no, because I want to be able to add files. Guest, okay, no, and I only want this one user. Now you can add different users and uh, groups and things like that, but uh, for now I'm just going to put valid users as admin. That's my just my administrator on the uh, on the server that I'm doing this for. Browsable, yes. Okay, that's it for this, and it should be good. But uh, let's see, let's page all the way up. Okay, so this is a pretty good uh, configuration file. So you can kind of go. We're going to do these as uh, set se bool things in the next step. But I just wanted to go down global here we go and I just want I don't want to allow everybody I just want my uh, local subnet so I'm just gonna go like that so 127 is your loopback and then uh, 172 that is my my uh, server subnet there so WQ write it and save it alright next thing we're gonna go and do uh, the I see Linux contexts. So, you know, a lot of times uh, people have you set up these things and they say, oh, just turn off SE Linux. Well, it's a security feature. You don't really want to do that. 
depending on your situation, maybe you do. For me, I don't. So change context recursive type samba share t and then home admin public should be good and then se manage f context a t samba share t and then i don't think you need these uh I don't think you need the quote, so I'm just going to do that. But just be aware, you probably can do it just like I have the top home admin public. So, alright, and then we're just going to do a little business there. Admin public, and that looks good. Should uh, go through. Okay, so now. I'm going to go system CTL. This is your uh, system D uh, command to get the service started. So I'm going to say start SMB. Okay, so uh, there's SMB and NMB, like SMBD, server SMB daemon and NMB. NMB, like I said, is for the host name resolution for it and I'm just gonna go with IP addresses like I said it's pretty pretty lean pretty uh, stripped down so just be aware you probably you know you don't have to because I'll show you how it works and uh, maybe you don't want that net BIOS naming service on there you know listening for that so SMB be aware there is an NMB I'm not gonna do that CTL enable SMB Okay, so enable is the new, uh, if you had like say CentOS 6, it'd be check config uh, level 3.5 SMB D on. So basically SMB or the system CTL enable SMB, this is system D, the init configuration command is check config, that one right there. But like I said, this is CentOS 7 and it's a little different. Now let's just do a quick system CTL status SMB. Okay, so it's good. It shows it's running. We should be good to go. Now what we need to do is we're just going to give our user a password. So SMB password A to add it to the uh, file admin. That's just my user. And I'm just going to add Okay, so now we have a user. That's going to be the user that when Windows prompts you for credentials, that's your credentials right there. Okay, next thing we're just going to change in the GUI just because it's a little quicker, a little easier. And we're just going to add Samba as a service. It's pretty easy to do. Just go in there and it's already there for you. Samba. enter your root password and that's runtime so make sure you change it to permanent as well go all the way back down and change is applied so uh, we should be good to go actually so let's uh, let me bring over a uh, windows window here and this is should be 100 yeah so let's just test it out 172 20 100 at 100 so that came up pretty easy okay see restricted admin uh, that's the name if you see that's not the uh, that's not the folder name the folder points to public but this is the in the brackets in the smb.conf file. So let's see if I can add something. Just do a text document test. And look at that, we're good to go. So uh, let me just go back, restricted admin, and let me just show you here. Yeah, let's see, smb. Yep. Samba. And we'll go all the way down restricted admin you see that 
and what does the folder show up as restricted admin so that's how we get about so just be aware like if you're gonna do this one other thing is when you're up here you want to comment these other things out so printers you know I'm sharing the printers but homes otherwise this would show up here right it would say homes you'd have another folder you try to get to it but you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't be able to but just comment out what you don't want to use and uh, and there you go and like I said further up in the config file all you really need to do if you want just uh, lock it down a little bit hosts allow and then local uh, the loopback and then the you know your local subnet so that is it but let's uh, actually let's go to uh, so and then we'll I'll let you go after this but so we have a test file okay so we created that here let's just do another quick one and this will kind of tell us kind of tell us where uh, how this is working so I'm just going to exit out from root because you don't want to you know always be logged in as root and cd public there we go okay and what's nice is the admin because the admin is the and this is it, it's a little bit it gets a little squishy with permission sometimes but the thing is because I have admin logging in from the other computer the permissions line up so just be aware sometimes like uh, you know the permissions on your folders and your permissions even on your uh, Samba user uh, you know if it's not if it's a different name you might run into some things where it, it seems like you can't write uh, you can't view or something like that well that's your permissions so you just have to get all those squared away but uh, you know that's good we're good to go and uh, that's all I have for this video, so stay tuned for future videos.